Number one, characteristics of rational expressions on graphs. First thing we want to do here is factor out an x squared out of each term. So we get x squared times x plus 1 over factoring out a 4x out of each term. We get 4x times x squared plus x minus 6. Let's go ahead and factor this real quick here. That's going to give us x plus 3, x minus 2. Okay. All right, let's start work answering some of these questions. It says identify points of discontinuity. So those points are going to be found in the denominator. If you set the first factor equal to 0, the first point of discontinuity is going to be 0. So discontinuities. zero. Actually, let's put a brace here. Setting the next one equal to zero, we have a discontinuity at negative three, and then we have a discontinuity at two. Remember, discontinuity means that the graph is broken up, the domain is broken up at these points. It's not a smooth, continuous, excuse me, it's not a continuous graph. All right, moving on. Holes. We have a hole at x equals 0 because up here the x's cancel. These two factors will cancel. This is x times x. So an x will cancel with an x. So we have a hole at x equals 0. Vertical asymptote. Since this factor represents, this discontinu discontinuity represents a hole, what we're left for vertical asymptotes are x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. Okay, the next thing we need to find are the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are found by setting the numerator equal to zero. Since this is a whole, we do not set that equal to zero. We set this factor equal to zero and solve. So we have an x-intercept at negative one, zero. Finally, horizontal asymptote and domain. Horizontal asymptote, remember, we look at the degrees. Since the degrees are the same, our equation will be y equals the leading coefficient, which is 1, over 4. 1 over 4. The domain will be all real numbers except x does not equal negative 3, x does not equal 2, and x does not equal 0. At this point we're going to go ahead and graph it. So I'm going to put my vertical asymptotes in first. I'm running out of time. The bell has rung. And so I'm going to go kind of quickly here. Vertical asymptotes in first. Horizontal asymptote in next. Y equals, ne y equals 1 fourth. We have a hole at x equals 0. So we have a hole right here. Okay. Now the way this is going to go, it's going to go like this. It's going to come curve up through the hole. 
we have an x-intercept at negative 1. It's going to go through negative 1 and curve back down. The rest of it's going to be on the outside. To get to know that it's going to be outside, you would want to plug in an x value. For example, you could plug in 4. If you plug a 4 in here, you'll get a y coordinate out. It's going to end up up here. That's going to tell you to make your graph up here. Same thing over here. If you plug a negative 4 in here, you're going to get a y coordinate up here. And that's going to tell you to put the other part of the graph in here. Okay? I hope this helps.